Okay, it's week nine and I'm going to talk today a little bit more about Chuck Chuck's language development. Made some very, very good progress and we've been doing a lot of sort of communication temptations with him. That means we've got something he wants and he's going to make a sound or say a word to kind of request for it and initiate and be spontaneous with that language. So you can see in this video, he's uh, using the uh, for like iPad. He's still not very clear at all and can't really say words clearly. But what he can do now is he knows that certain sounds are associated with certain objects in his environment. And when he wants a specific thing, he'll use a specific sound spontaneously to request for those items. So this is a great improvement. And we do a lot of practice with him throughout the day in this area. We noticed that he wasn't really able to tell us though, you know, uh, when he didn't want something. So you can see in this video here, like, you know, we give him something we think he wants and then he'll kind of push it away. He doesn't know what to do. So we thought it would be really, really good to sort of find out a little bit more about what he wants uh, by teaching him how to use a choice board. Choice board's really simple. It's just a board with pictures on it that indicate what choices you can make. A uh, very, very simple thing to teach a student. And while we're working on his expressive language to get clearer, this was a good tool for him to understand because we can ask him what do you want and then he can sort of tell us what he wants uh, and we can be clearer about what he's, his preferences are. So you'll see in this video, uh, Oscar's training him on the choice board. And one of the things we do is we have an object on the table. He'll make a request uh, by giving us the picture. And then we do what we call a correspondence check. So what that is, is we wait and see when he gives me the picture of the biscuit. Does he go to get the biscuit? Or does he go to get the ball or something else? If he gets the biscuit, when he gives me the biscuit card, we know he's reliably making a choice and that the choice board is kind of working and is effective. If he goes to get something else, that means the choice he made was not really accurate, doesn't really correspond to what he did. So this is an important part of uh, using uh, choice boards. So this is good because it can increase his initiation to let us know what he wants to do and can also help to increase his motivation in task because we're working for reinforcers that we know he really wants to earn. We also wanted to teach him kind of a yes, no, and more importantly, like how to say no, so he doesn't have to push the things on the floor and get upset. And so we began this program by uh, teaching him just the movements of the head. Like, you know, this means yes, this means no. Not that we were teaching the meaning in the beginning, we're just teaching the action. So we did this through imitation. And in this video, you'll see Oscar teaching him to sort of copy him, to nod his head or, or shake his head. Once he understood that, we wanted to give that some meaning. So you'll see in this next video where we present him with some items. Some of the items he wants and some of the items he definitely doesn't want. And so you'll see Oscar prompting him that when it's an item that you don't want that you should do this rather than push it away and you can see he's picking this up as we go through this video Finally, when he's learned that in a more structured way, we've embedded that into sort of a nice fun activity that he likes and there's some bits that he wants, some bits he doesn't. And we're looking for him to be more spontaneous in kind of using those actions to indicate his preferences. So it's been a good uh, week nine for Chuck Chuck. Uh, stay tuned, we've got more videos of his progress coming soon so you can see how he, how he does in the coming weeks.